The third video from 1 Samuel is titled, A Good Mentor Also Is Still Learning. Uh, you may not have been expected to get a title like that because we always challenge or encourage people to get a mentor or someone who can speak into their life. But you've got to understand if you're a mentor to someone, you actually are still learning and you're going to learn to the day you die. And uh, Eli, uh, the prophet uh, and priest at that time, mentored Samuel. And he was good at that. As I mentioned in the previous video, he wasn't good with his uh, sons. And Samuel was a good learner. He was listening and he eventually grew and he led the people back to God after Eli had gone and God put him into that key position. He was the one to lead the people back to God. But Samuel learned to listen and speak to God when God was speaking to him. And how there are three ways we can hear from God. Number one is by practice. Samuel was already obeying in what he knew. He was there listening. And if you look at uh, chapter 3, verse 1, he was already serving. So he was already in a position to learn. And we've got to get ourselves positioned. If you're not turning up to hear the message spoken each Sunday, you're not positioning yourself. If you're not spending time with God, you're not in a position to learn. I had a business guy say to me, I never hear from God. And I said, do you, when do you spend time with him? I don't have time for him. Well, I said, how do you expect uh, that he's going to speak to if you're not spending time in prayer and worship? Put a worship song on. It's so easy to get this day, these days on YouTube and other means. And you know, just open the word, get a good devotional for business people. John Maxwell Leadership Bible is a good place to, you know, to start the word for today, the daily devotional. You just Google that, you get it, it comes free. Um, so you know, you've got to position yourself and it comes with practice in a sense, he's becoming regular at it. Number two, uh, he positioned himself. This is Samuel, positioned himself to hear. He was laying quiet at night, heard this voice, rushed into Eli and said, you know, did you call me? And this happened three times until Eli realized, this is where a mentor comes in really well, uh, Eli realized it was God speaking to him, and he said, just wait there and be still. So from Samuel's point of view where he was, he removed distractions. Now he didn't have the internet and social media and Facebook and magazines and television and all that sort of stuff, but I guess it's still easy to get distracted. But in verse three, he removed the distractions and when he this time he knew it was God speaking to him. So number one, there was a bit of a practice. He was positioning himself. Number two, he positioned himself. And number three, proximity. He lived in the presence of God. Um, if, if we sense God's creation, we're living in his presence. When we're reading his word, we're living in his presence. When we're in church, we listen to a message. We say, what's God saying to me? We're living in his presence. And if we're going to do those three things, we're going to hear God speak and he's going to speak life because he has the plan for us. And he wants us to get it clear and he wants us to write it down. He wants us to speak it out. So learn as a mentor that you're still learning because you're going to have people come on the journey or want help and you need to give good input to them, not past that's irrelevant or not things that aren't relevant to them. And we need to learn as mentors and as those that pastor people, we need to be learning as well. We never stop learning.